Doesn't matter if you and your twin are 15 years apart in age. Does it matter if you have different political beliefs? What happens when you and your twin flame are so different in 3D reality that you don't know if it can actually work out between the two of you on this plane? This is a requested video by one of you. If you have any questions or topics that you would like me to cover, just leave me a comment down below and I will create content for you. And also, please don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons if this video resonates with you. When I posted my runner twin flame Q&A videos, a lot of you asked if there were any differences that my twin and I had to go through on the 3D plane. The answer is, of course. It's technically impossible for that to not be the case. But what I think you were all really asking is if there were any 3D differences that were so glaring that it made it appear as if we would never be able to be together. And the answer to that is yes. We had many, many differences, so much so in fact that it caused all of our separations and many arguments throughout the first two years of our relationship. My twin is a very private person and doesn't want his personal stuff on the internet. So with respect to that, I can't go into detail on the main differences that we had. However, I'm going to tell you a story in order to understand what 3D differences in a twin flame relationship can look like and what happens due to them. Jasmine was 46 and her twin Jack was 25. Jasmine was a workaholic, but Jack didn't work, always scraping to get by. Jasmine was controlling, domineering, neurotic, and obsessive. So was Jack, yet he acted like he was carefree when he was around others. Jack spent his day at the gym, perfecting his physical appearance. He also liked to go out with his friends on the weekends and drink. Jasmine continued to work late into the night on the weekends, trying to get ahead for the next week. Though Jack and Jasmine were twin flames, they were so opposite on the 3D plane that Jasmine was convinced that they would never be together. Jack felt like he was young and it would be an embarrassment to be seen with a woman so much older than him. Jasmine felt like if she looked better, the age difference wouldn't be so much of a problem for Jack. Jasmine and Jack spent limited time together, but every time they did, it was so explosive that their beliefs about why it wouldn't work seemed to disappear. However, as soon as they would physically separate again, those same beliefs would come back and Jack would run. So what's going on here? If you pay attention to the story and think about the video I did a few weeks ago, you'll realize that both Jasmine and Jack are showing signs of having the same core karmic lesson of self-love. They're portraying different symptom karmic lessons of the same core karmic lesson, but they're both looking at the egoic differences instead of focusing on the fact that they both need to learn the exact same thing, to love themselves. Now, how does one go about learning this lesson if their twin won't spend enough physical time with them in order to trigger the deeper lessons? This is the beauty of separation, because it is within separation that the chaser actually learns and heals. And when the chaser heals energetically, the twin mirrors in the 5D. So what if I told you now that Jasmine, while in separation from Jack, was so miserable that she stopped working so much because she didn't see a point to it all anymore. And not working as much anymore calmed down her neuroses and controlling behavior because there was nothing to obsess over and be neurotic about. In fact, because Jasmine wasn't working as much, she had more free time. And though she was miserable being in separation from Jack, she decided that in order to get her mind to calm down, she would begin practicing meditation. And because Jasmine's ego was calming down, she didn't have the same negative thoughts about herself. This in turn led Jasmine to develop a form of non-attachment to things. And when there is non-attachment to things such as the mental chatter that frequently comes in and out, 
the thing that transpires is self-love because the ego isn't being paid attention to. 3D differences between twins is normal. You are two different egos even though you are the exact same thing. But the ego is just surface and it only functions on the plane in which you're worried about the differences, the 3D plane. Remember that the point to meeting the twin is to recognize yourself as the universe. The universe, though experiencing itself through ego, does not have ego because it is pure energy. So breaking the ego down is really the only way in which you can remember who and what you are. If you're just worried about whether you and your twin will end up together in the 3D plane, then you're functioning solely with the ego and missing the point. It's very difficult to overcome egoic differences when you're functioning with just the ego. Egoic differences, or 3D differences, aren't real. They're costumes we like to put on to make ourselves seem this or that to the outside world. None of them matter. And if you get to that point in which you truly believe and know that none of it matters and none of it is real, the ego has no choice but to break. And when you're living as energetically and mindfully as you possibly can, there are no differences to overcome. Until next week, all of my best and highest vibrations to you.